Yeah, 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 yeah. Because in fact, I say, I'm a person, 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 I'm a anybody to join me you know today i've got so many good news to share with you let me know who is here who is watching if you're watching me please say hi say hi in the comment section let me know before i start the live <laughs> yo 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 <laughs> yo 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 let me wait for other people to join if you're here if you're watching me please say hi in the comment section please let me know and tell me where you're watching me from because as you know if you've been following me on instagram you would know that your girl is currently not in june <laughs> I'm just pulling at this point, okay? I'm watching from <laughs> Glass and Qua. <laughs> Glass and Qua, oh, Charlie. Glass and Qua. Who else do we have here? Hello. How many people are watching me? If you don't come, I won't start the live. Oh. Uh, so I'm waiting for you to join my live. I'm meeting. All right, so today is just like a chit chat that I'm going to have with you all who will be watching me. So um i went on a trip to kenya and i am currently in dubai i spent like half a day a day and a half in kenya and so today i'm just miss p says watching from the states okay thank you for joining my live <laughs> And I have Lydia S and I'm here, of course. My girl is here to support. I'm watching for Glass and Kwa. <laughs> okay, we'll tell you about that later. Don't worry. So I'm kind I am currently in Dubai. I went to Kenya and I just wanted to share my experience from the flight and then other things I did in Kenya. So we left Kotoka around. Uh, 9 9 p.m. We used Kenya Airways. We left Kozoka around 9 p.m. And we got to Kenya. Uh, what time did we get to Kenya? I think it was, yeah, 5 a.m. thereabouts. Yeah, it was early morning. And we had a little problem at the airport, but it was okay. I think about one hour later, it was okay. We went through went to our hotel. I'll share the details of all the videos with you guys, so don't worry about that. Everything in details will be shared on my YouTube channel. So first of all, if you are not um, subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you find out all the details. I have... Um... Hey, how do I pronounce your name? Okay, let me just go with Ajekum. Yamwa says, Kenyan international traveler. Yes. <laughs> I am an international traveler. First time. Oh, anyway, I have a video on that. I'll post on my YouTube channel. So I'm not going to go into details on my experience as a first time traveler. This is mainly for my Kenyan experience. So we got to the hotel around 10.30. And we had breakfast. The Concord Hotel, we had breakfast. The people there were, okay, treated as good. Then we had we had to rest for a little while, and then later we went to 
the town to do other things. And we came back to the airport around, um, when was that? What time was it? I'm bad with time, okay, guys? So please bear with me on that. I have my timekeeper here. She knows all the time that we do everything. Please, what time did we get to there? So our flight was actually at, our flight was supposed to take off at um, 11.30, so boarding was at 10 30. we got to the airport at around a little after seven because um we really wanted to get there early because we had a group a lot of people about 30 people so we always want to get there early check in and so that we can have like a flu a, a fast check in you know and enjoy the experience let me just read some comments Lydia says international lady <laughs> international lady now nobody says oh hey i have made it in life seriously i have made it in life at this point nothing or nobody can say anything that would tally will hurt me i've made it in nice in life nice experience hey i know Charlie, the experience alone is making me like nervous and all that. It's really, really a nice experience. Like the whole thing, to have the privilege to, you know, travel and see other things. Anyway, back to the Kenyan experience. So we got to the airport at around 7, a little after 7. We checked in. I think we we're done checking in like 8, thereabouts. And we're waiting for our flight because it was a transit to Dubai waiting for our flight to do bye and anyway <laughs> i believe that's for the any part and tell you the good part of the kenyan experience so we met our tour guide was frank he was called frank no not frank hey jesus david the first guy was frank and then there was another one david so we had two tour guides the first one was frank and the other one was David. David was amazing. He taught us a lot of things. And I learned some words. Let me share it with you. So I learned a Kenyan word, which is karibu. Karibu is welcome. Karibu sana is welcome so much. <laughs> Let me know if I'm correct. Karibu sana is welcome so much. Um, and then there is asante asante is asante is thank you so asante sana when somebody says asante sana in swahili it's um thank you very much and then hold on i actually wrote it let me read them <laughs> yeah karibu sana is you're welcome or like you're so welcome so the word sana means a lot so much much so anything that like if you say i love you so much you would say that i love you and add sana to it which means nakupenda sana which means i love you so much <laughs> so those are the words i learned in oh i learned one the god um god bless you oh i forgot saying uh, don't worry i'll do another live and i'll share with you um so frank was very very nice we had lovely experience he shared a lot of uh, details with us there's a comment here okay lydia um he shared a lot of uh things with us showed us a lot of things names words in swahili so the day was very very smooth the food in the hotel was good the people at the hotel were good um, the tours that we did, <laughs> we went to the giraffe center, we went to the carnival restaurant, and <laughs> uh, we ate a meat called blue balls. I'm lying, it's not blue balls. It was called booze balls, like a boo. They are balls. And the people that were very, very lovely, the chef, the waiters and all that, very lovely. And then we went to the airport and that was where everything went south. So we checked in around eight, around, um, a little after eight, we're okay, check in. We're just waiting for the flight, boarding at 10.30. Oh my God, it was 10.30. 
no boarding for us. 11, nothing was said. 11.30, that was when everybody became like aware what's going on. Why are we not boarding the flight? And nobody was saying anything to us. So a little like 11.40 thereabouts, we, I was actually the first person to approach the lady at the counter to find out like what's going on because the flight was supposed to leave at 11.30 and it was 11.40 and nobody had said anything to us. So I went to the lady and <laughs> uh, Lydia says what? Blue, hey, blue boss, how? <laughs> I know, right? It was booze, booze, ball balls anyway so i went to the lady at the counter and i was asking her like why are we not flying the flight was supposed to leave at 11 30 and then she said um the flight is delayed and that they announced it and nobody did we we're over i don't know maybe like 100 people we were a lot because our group alone were 30 people and there were a lot of other people at the waiting area and then she said it was announced that the flight was delayed and nobody heard nobody in the waiting area heard that the, the flight was delayed because the person even making the announcement eh jesus <laughs> you won't hear a word i don't know if she's talking to her boyfriend or she was i don't know she would just be saying bang, bang, kenya airways and then she's done so she said the flight is delayed. I asked her, so when are we boarding? Delayed how long? 30 minutes, one hour. She said 30 minutes. So we went back, came back around 12, 15. And she still didn't have any, any better explanation to give. Later, she said <laughs> they are waiting for one crew member to come. And that person is stuck in traffic. That was after 12 a.m. in Nairobi. And the person is back in traffic. I've never heard that before in my life. 12 a.m. like. And literally, we we got there around 8. That's the peak time. And there was no traffic. There was traffic a little bit, but we got there on time. So 12 a.m. for you to say there's traffic. <laughs> Lydia says... That traffic excuse, and I know it was it was really a very shallow thing for them to say because I mean 12:30, even up to like 1 a.m., she was still giving the excuse that there was traffic, the person was stuck in traffic to the point that she said, um, if you don't have traffic in your country at one, we have traffic here in Nairobi at 1 a.m. Ah. They almost, almost spoiled our experience at the airport. Like, we waited for over four hours at the airport. And it was really bad how Kenya Airways and the people at the airport treated us. Because we had a very, very nice... In the morning, we almost had a bad experience because they wouldn't let us into the town because it was transit. I don't know if there was miscommunication with the organizers and the people at the airport, but they tried to stress us in the morning. And then we got through that. And then we had a very lovely experience in the town. I will tell you, Kenya and the Greens, how, if I if I go back to Kenya, it will be for how green the place is. Like, I feel like it's, it's like compulsory for everybody to plant trees, even with, the residential places you still see trees and in the town like in the city i cry here i cry city where will you see a tree <laughs> you will not see tree in the city nowhere every tree is cut they're building here but kenya has like trees in the city business city there are still a lot of trees in there so it was very beautiful and they had this like old buildings that were built like years 18 whatever years years ago but still looked very very strong and beautiful so i love that they had out there's a city tour so i'm going to show you details of that 
but we really had a lovely experience. So for us to come back to the airport and experience that and the excuse that they were given, that was the most painful part that they did not, they can't acknowledge or see the reason to, you know, care for the passengers. It was really, really bad. If there's anybody here from Kenya watching or anybody who works with Kenya Airways, please, please, please work on that. If you work with Kenya Airways, tell your management to work on that because it is really bad. We tweeted about that and we had a lot of response from other people having experienced the same thing. Even there was one guy in our midst who said the last time he came to Kenya, they waited till the next morning at the airport and nobody told them anything. It was like, oh, the flight is delayed one hour. The flight is delayed two hours. And then before you know, it was morning. They're supposed to leave around 10. They also, they left at five something, just sitting at the airport. That was really, really terrible on the part of the airlines. So yesterday, challenge, challenge. They almost spoiled my experience for me. Yeah. Hey, I was so mad. I was extremely angry. Eh? <laughs> Come and see you cursing Aluta. <laughs> Aluta on Twitter and at the place there because, Charlie, I work in a hotel before, so I know how these things work. If you know your flight will be delayed for a couple of hours, it's either you tell the people, at least show concern, right? Let them know that, okay, your flight is delayed for two hours. We are sorry about that. Um, have this water or this snack and we'll be right back, you know, so that they are aware. But to give the excuse that, oh, um, the, the person is stuck in traffic. Like when you know that you have this flight to be on at 10.30, how do you get stuck in traffic after 12 a.m.? So you are late more than two hours and you're stuck in traffic like and they didn't even say anything we had to like push them and the lady was not oh i didn't even get her name but anyway that's fine she wasn't apologetic none of them were apologetic it was later after one it was one um 15 that we had another gentleman uh, come in, leader says there was no empathy. Exactly, there was no empathy. People, see guys, people were lying on the floor. The, the whole place was packed. The whole place was really, really packed that there were not enough chairs because of COVID. They had this social distancing chairs there. So only two people could sit on the row. And we are like 100, if I'm not lying. So people were sleeping on the floor, sitting on the floor, standing for hours. And these people said nothing. It was after two or three hours later, one gentleman came and he was trying to justify the reason why the flight is. And then on the, on the website, the flight, they said canceled. <laughs> and one lady came in and she was like, oh, she doesn't work with the, she doesn't work on the website. So she wouldn't know if, it's cancelled or it's not cancelled. You work on the counter. You work with with website. You enter details on website, but you don't work. I don't understand. Like you don't know if the flight is cancelled on your website or not. So, <laughs> yeah, it was really funny that excuse that she gave that she doesn't work on the website. So later, this gentleman came trying to you know explain and stuff like that. But he promised that the flight will leave at two. I'm telling you, people were mad. At a point where like 20 people on this man, everybody saying something. <laughs> it was, I was really, I was so mad. I was feeling sick because I hadn't slept since um, it was Friday leading to Saturday morning. And I hadn't slept since Thursday because we left Kotoka. Thursday. So when I woke up Thursday morning, I had not slept again. And this is almost 48 hours because it was Saturday. It was Saturday around one. 
so I was so tired. My head was aching. I didn't get a place to sit. So I was standing. It was great. I was so angry. <laughs> Oh my god, you should check Twitter to see some of my videos. I was really, really angry. So this man promised that we are going to leave by two. And well, the good thing about that is we actually left before two. So that is good that he was able to do it. Because what we what, what we said was if we don't leave, he talked plenty he explained a lot of things and how the system works and stuff like that and he was like oh i promise you, you're going to leave before two and this and that so we're like okay let's just take his word for that because he was new the lady there was just giving us a bunch of excuses 30 minutes later 15 minutes later so we're like okay this man says one hour so let's just give him one hour sorry and after one hour, if we are not on that flight, <laughs> I feel like I if <laughs> hey, Esnam, Lydia Esnam was counting down the time. Like she would say, 15 minutes later, 20 minutes, 20 minutes gone, 30 minutes gone. <laughs> it was crazy. If we had not um left that airport before to trust me, that airport would have been bent down. I, I know it because the way the rate at which people were angry one guy missed his flight he was he was also making a transit in dubai to another country and that flight was leaving at 5 5 a.m and as at one we're still in kenya and it takes five hours right five hours from kenya to dubai over five hours i think 5 40 minutes so obviously he had missed his flight from dubai and he has to pay penalty for the next it was it was great so people were really really um mad who do we have here oh Lydia Esna. i was counting down the time i know um i have esther esther elom oh okay hi oh i didn't even share hold on give me a minute people let me just uh i forgot to share my link i'm so excited wanting to share my experience i totally okay i'm back so um what was i <laughs> If that flight had not left before 2 a.m., hmm, um, Nairobi, what's the name of the airport? Jomo Kenyatta Airport would have been bent down. You would have seen it in the news today that some passengers transiting to Dubai, <laughs> uh, breaking news, passengers transiting to Dubai bent down the uh what's what kenyatta airport <laughs> that would have been crazy so 15 minutes before two and this people the lady that op even opened the door she didn't even have the courtesy like nobody actually officially apologized to this like to us nobody none of them like could come to us and say hey we are so sorry the flight has delayed um we are going to give you water we apologize the people sitting on the floor lying on the floor we are so sorry for this thing nobody none of them none and when it was time for us to fly this lady just came open the the entrance and uh, because we knew that that was the entrance we we're going to use she just opened it and and left she didn't even say okay so it's time to she didn't say nothing she just opened it and left and it was just, it was the people actually on the flight that were trying to console us because I knew and I have a feeling that that wasn't the flight that we're going to use because maybe it was it was really comfortable than the first flight that we used coming in or because it was going to Dubai they had to use a better flight. Lydia says, "Stop cursing, <laughs> stop causing fear and panic." <laughs> I am not, but. 
Um, I'm going to say if if you are planning on traveling to Kenya or especially I think transiting traveling to Kenya will be a little easier. But if you're making a transit to Kenya, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I I would go to Kenya again definitely to see the place, but I don't think I would transit to Kenya. I don't think I'll do that. No. I don't think I'll do that because the stress they put us through yesterday. Oh. So I'll just I'll just go straight wherever I'm going or go to Ethiopia or any other African country because but I would go to Kenya to go to Kenya and visit the place because that's I don't think they're going to stress you too much. But to transit there, no. People give me a minute and let me share this. Um let me share this real quick and I'll be back here. Join mine. Hmm. Anyway, I don't want this live to be too long. Hold on. Oh, come in. Meet my friend. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> guys. Um, Hi, guys. We're just trying to figure out something. So just give us a minute. Eh, 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 eh. Did you have Charlie Glass. Glass and Glass and and <laughs> That's oh, our new goodness. slogan, okay? Glass and Quan. Now, we don't do the cement buildings and stuff. For oh. Glass and Quan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glass and Quan. Glass and Quan. Glass and Quan. Oh, you just got it. Oh, wow, okay, great, great. Ah, so this I'm, I'm watching. No, go back to the second. Great, okay, so back to us. Anyway, I don't want this live to be too long. So, mm, what else do I have to share? I have a lot to share, but I just I don't want to go into details because I've put that in my videos. So this is just like, I just wanted you to see, you know, that I'm not in Ghana. <laughs> I have traveled, okay? Hey, Charlie, Yabro. Hmm. Yabro. And finally, we've been able to travel. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Who is this? Somebody's buzzing me. Just a minute. How, and then today, who we are in Dubai at the moment. Hmm. Charlie, glass and coin. People, she, me chili, oh. Even my skin color, car, the moment I got here, I feel like my skin color has changed. Hey, I brought she, I brought she, yeah, do she, she, no she. Hey, I don't even want to come back to Ghana. I've only been here for how many hours? <laughs> Like I cannot seriously, I cannot believe. Um, I'm just joking about it, but I'm also very emotional about everything, and just trying to hide my emotions, you know, through the jokes and stuff like that. Because if I get deep, I'm going to tear. So you don't care. <laughs> Somebody says you don't care. You don't care. Yeah, but. That was my experience with Kenya Airways and the Ke the Kenyans. I don't know. 
we didn't really spend a lot of time there so i don't want to use that like few hours spent with them to judge to judge the kind of people that they are but at the airport as for the airports dear as for the airport dear please kenyans please please speak to the people at the airport because they really stress you if you are traveling to kenya huh be prepared for stress at the airports that's uh i compare it to our airports here in ghana because i've only been to our airports and then to oh ask for dubai airports there please hey charlie huh. it was like ping, 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 ping. you are done no joko <laughs> they did they, like they don't play in dubai here they don't play at all and I, I also don't want to compare Dubai to Kenya because they are like way advanced than us in, in like in Africa. But Kenya airports can stress the hell out of you. So if you are traveling to Kenya or you are transiting to Kenya, just be prepared for stress, okay? So Kenyans, please, those are the airports. Please, please. But I think generally the people are, oh, and the weather. I love, I was like, people were saying it was, it would be very cold, but I wasn't feeling too cold. It was maybe because I didn't stay there for too long, but it was okay. The weather was like, you are in an AC, um, 16, 16 thereabouts. That's how the weather is like very chilled. The whole place was why Lydia had um vapor. <laughs> Is it smoke or vapor? Vapor coming out of her vapor coming out of her mouth when she was talking and stuff. I don't know about me. I didn't really pay attention to that, so I can't really tell if I experienced that or not. But yeah, so the weather was really good. <laughs> the weather was really, really good. I want to share a story, but I don't know. Do I have permission to share? your washroom story <laughs> <laughs> she says no <laughs> she says no okay so you're not going to share that story oh, you um, <laughs> so so Lydia oh my god we got to the airport and she wanted to pee I don't know why she decided to wait till we get to the hotel to pee because one, we don't know how long it's going to take us to get to the hotel. We don't even know where, we didn't know where we're going. And also we don't know how, you don't know the system in there. So you don't know if there's traffic or there's no traffic, but she decided to keep it and wait till we get to the hotel. Hmm. And, <laughs> and, her, and her home villages, Jesus Christ. It was just like five minutes into the ride. And this girl was dying. Like she was at the edge like this. Oh, no, being on her. So, and I was, hey, I was feeling it for her. I was, because I've experienced that a lot. Like it's so bad. I'm one person. I don't know how to keep pee. I cannot keep pee at all. People can. Oh, we have a call. People can keep pee for a very long time i am not that person so she she like it was crazy and there was traffic just a minute people okay so actually we are going to a nightclub in the hotel here in dubai <laughs> in dubai so yeah and back to lydia's story so five minutes into the ride she was dying to pee it was so funny I, <laughs> it was fun i was feeling it was funny and then i was feeling sympathetic also and <laughs> there was traffic there was there was construction also they are constructing this 24 ki kilometer um road overhead like a bridge from the airport into the city so you don't have to move in the city so there's traffic all around and there's an open space so the driver cannot even stop 
anywhere for her to you know pee it was crazy so later we had to stop at a car dealer shop and then oh and then i had a boyfriend who promised to who, who promised to give me a car i have to go back to kenya and take the car <laughs> He was like, are you from Ghana? And I said, yeah. Do you sell cars? He said, yes. Do you want a car? I said, yes. Okay, I'll give you a car. <laughs> but I couldn't take it. So I'll go back to Kenya and take down my car because I really need a car this year. And yeah, so that was the experience. What again can I share? Yeah, apart from that, everybody was just lovely. The people that we met were lovely. The hotel people and yeah now we apart from the airport i think it was only the airport that we experienced uh we had bad experiences but apart from that yeah everything was everything was okay so now we're in dubai i'm going to share all the videos here charlie hey <laughs> glass and crown glass and crown Anyway, so I have to go down to the club here. I'm just going to see how it looks like in the hotel we are staying in, in Dubai. And then we'll catch up later. Yeah, so this is just a chit chat here. Thank you so much for watching my live. Oh, lifestyle, you came in late. I see my girls. Yeah, yeah. Please follow me on Instagram. I will be sharing a lot, a lot of things. Because it's really quick to, you know, uh, put things on Instagram than to, you have to combine it and put it on YouTube. So, <laughs> Lifestyle says, Glass and <laughs> Kwa. That's our new, that's our new oh, thing, yeah. yeah. Glass and Kwa. Actually, Lydia brought it up. So, but yeah. Uh, my girls are popping. We are popping, baby. We are popping. Our skin color has even changed. Charlie, me nyani pake I I am not your size anymore. Please, I don't care what you think. Me nyani pake tuwa. Hey, I have traveled. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and remember, life is short. You got to live your truth. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you in the next live, okay? I need to go to the club and see what's popping in there. And then come back and come and edit some videos and post because I promise I'm going to post three times in a week this, I guess. But because of the traveling and everything, I was all over the place. I didn't have enough time to put everything together. So I need to... I'm going to edit these videos as we go and then post some for you so that just so you can catch up okay with the vibe <laughs> oh i'm so excited charlie you have no idea hmm. anyway all right i'll see you later take care bye hey somebody's coming in hot coming in hot hey just a little <laughs>